students welcome again to another problem solving session on triangles now in this question it's given that o is the midpoint of ab so this point is the midpoint of ab so both ab so this is ab and this is bc right sorry this is cd so okay so uh, what is the question question is we have to prove that um, triangle aoc is congruent to triangle bod ac is equal to bd and third is ac is parallel to bd okay so let's try and prove this one so let's start with writing what is given okay so what's given guys these are the things given what is given simple o is the midpoint that means ao is equal to ob that's point number 1 and then secondly co is equal to OD, right? And why is this? Because O is the midpoint of O is the midpoint of what AB and C. Okay, this is given. Therefore, now let's try to prove. So to prove, what do we need to prove? We need to prove that triangle. AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. Is it? This is the question. Okay, this is the first question, first part. Okay, now see how to prove it. So we know uh, side angle side uh, congruence criteria. So hence we will be uh, using that. So if you analyze this clearly, this angle is equal to this angle. So let us say this is X. So this angle is also X, vertically opposite angle, isn't it? So I can say in triangle in triangle aoc okay let's consider this triangle and triangle bod let's consider the other triangle bod so this is bod and this is aoc right so what is already given we know that ao is equal to ob given and co is equal to ob this is also given where is it given I had already mentioned this. Was, these are the two things which have been given. And an angle AOC, AOC is equal to angle BOD. BOD. And why is this? Within brackets, you can write vertically opposite angles. Correct? The moment this is done, so what do we conclude? So let me write it now here. So we can conclude that triangle. AOC triangle AOC is congruent to triangle which one BOD by 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 S A S congruence criteria congruence congruence criteria right so this is uh, proven no problem in proving the two triangles to be congruent now let's Go for the second one. AC is equal to BD. So AC will have to be BD, right? Why? AC is equal to BD now. Why will that be? Why will that be? So let me write once again. So AC is BD. Okay. AC is equal to BD. So this is AC here, and this is equal to BD. Why is this congruent part of congruent triangle? So you can write within brackets C P C D congruent parts of congruent triangle. So this is point number two, and it is said third one is they are asking to prove AC AC to be parallel to BD, and indeed it is. Why? Because if you see this angle is Y, so this angle also is Y, right? This is Y. Why is this? Because of alternate interior. So you can say since angle CAO CAO is equal to angle um, which one? B uh, C A O is equal to D B O D B O right? If this is true, why is this is, why is this true again? Because of C P C T right? Therefore, what can we conclude? We can conclude that A C is parallel to B D, and why is this? This is because of alternate interior angle. Alternate. Angles, 
right? So hence, all the three parts, uh, this congruence, this equality, and this parallel, all of that is proved. Okay, I hope you understood this problem where we applied SAS congruence criterion to prove that two triangles are congruent and their corresponding elements or subparts of the triangles are equal due to CPCT, right?